Let's continue where we left in the last video. Now it's time to add dynamic graph. I have already set up required component in an actor blueprint. Let's add a variable of type JSON field. This will help us to define and update multiple data fields with keys. We need to get data from three JSON string fields to update these three text fields. Get reference of your text component in the graph and add set text function. The string data from JSON will be the input for our text component. I want to check this block on every tick but please feel free to use timers or any other logic. Now let's get back to header blueprint. Add an object array field and add user defined key for it. It helps us to add rows dynamically. Loop through the array with the help of for each loop. Based on the number of area element, I will spawn my rows blueprint. From the spawn actor return value, set your JSON draw variable and connect the JSON draw pin to array element of for each loop. Now just need to attach your spawn actor to the scene root of this blueprint. Set spawn row location, which is under the header. You can exactly find its location by checking its size in Static Mesh Editor. From the array index, add multiplication expression and input your desired value to connect it with the axis of your transform location. I want to use same on change underscore txd event to trigger my rows logic as well. Let's add sequence node for this purpose. Before I connect the execution pin to for each loop, let's add logic to reset the spawn rows.
For this purpose, we need to gather all spawn actor of raw blueprint and destroy them. And get all actor of class node and select bp underscore raw. Loop them all with for each loop and destroy each spawn actor. Let's call this event before for each loop here. We already have our previous form for header graphics. Add an array widget. Double click on it and add title to display and the same key that we define in our blueprint. Now add three array element inside this array to match three text field in our row. Add title and match the exact key names as our row blueprint. Finally, add button. Double click on it and check update data. Now control click on it and select blueprint node in our graph and click on the circular icon and select assign to action button. Save the form and click on copy JXD button. Paste it in our JXD variable in the blueprint and hit compile. Hit play and check play out section. Form will appear right here and ready to take any user input. 